gacha games have been around for a very long time. And I guarantee you that any gacha game that you have enjoyed and played over the years will make you questioning opening your wallet and punching in your credit card number. A game that I've been playing since its release day is Bleach Brave Souls, and they're about to reach their ninth year anniversary. But in those nine years that I've played this game, I have never spent a dime. And of course, there's always been countless times I've been thinking of just pulling out the credit card and just buying a set of orbs to summon for the specific set of characters that I really want. But I restrain myself. Because for me, I know the minute I punch in my card number, and the minute I do it at least once, game over for me. I can never go back to the casual free-to-play player that I once was before. And I know it's very easy to fall prey to these gacha games, because once you start spending money on it, you can rarely go back. I have seen many people go through thousands of dollars just buying gems or gacha game currency there is, just to pull for a character or any type of banner that catches their eye. Either this character's new meta of the game, either it will be waifus, or just any designs that they consider like cool. And the sad truth is, you can spend up to thousands of dollars on that game, and you can potentially just not get what you want. Gacha games are just in a way, you gambling away money if you aren't a free-to-play player, of course. And to play like this and spend money on it, you always think about there's always a chance that you can get this new unit. And the reason why you would spend money on the game is because either, for me, what I know is a new unit has come out and they will be the new meta of the game, a seasonal event character with a new outfit, like swimsuits or bleach or wintertime, Christmas stuff like that. Or maybe you're just summoning for just a character that you really, really want. And these are the type of things that people will usually go for. For example, anniversary characters are the one that I know that most people would either save their current game in-game currency or just ready to spend a shit ton of money just to get that specific set of characters. And normally those characters that they get will either usually be the best character in the game for that period of time. But the reason why I'm telling you this is because do you guys remember the game... Naruto Ninja Blazing. It was a mobile game not too long ago, and it was a gacha game. And in that gacha game, you did the same thing. You pull for characters like Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, all that stuff. And you also re-roll too, if you want to, for new units. But, sadly, on February 9th, 2021, that game shut down. And since the game is a gacha game, people spent a lot of money on it. And from what I know, everything in Naruto Ninja Blazing is permanently gone. And in a way, it seems that people who spent money on that game just got scammed big time. And gosh, games in and of itself are normally a scam. I'm pretty sure people who play these games know that, but they still do it anyway. And that's perfectly fine. But after seeing Naruto Blazing shut down permanently, it made me realize that these gacha games, probably no matter how good, or bad they are, they potentially won't last forever. And that's pretty much a given through every game. But it made me realize that for every gacha game, or any game that you use money on, either you summon, you buy skins, you buy DLCs, whatever it is, right? Sometimes they can just be go thrown away, and they never return. But I'm pretty sure people playing gacha know that fact, and are playing it and pulling it for a fun time. You guys know the quote like, I'm not here for a long time, just for a fun time. Just think about that when you see someone play gacha games and pull gacha games or even yourself. Playing gacha games, it's very easy to fall prey into the rabbit hole of just constantly spending money and pulling for characters or accessory in one minute. You're just summoning for characters and you think to yourself, okay, I'm only going to use X amount of money of this in-game currency to see if I can potentially pull this character. And when you don't get it, you might think to yourself, oh, a discounted multi, for example, is on its way. So then you just think about, oh, maybe if I swipe my credit card, I'll just use that money for this in-game discounted currency, right? You pull it, and then you get shafted. But then you realize, hold on, if I spend only X amount of times I'm guaranteed to have a 5 star, for example, at this step, which could be the character you wanted. And then you pull on it, 
you get a five star, but then you get shafted because it's not the either the five star you wanted or it's not even a fucking five star that's in the banner. And then you're just in this constant cycle of thinking, maybe if I pull one more time, I can get it, or a discount on the step is very close. It's those type of formatting of the summons that make you blow away your money so fast. And the next thing you know, you're down maybe a thousand dollars and you still have not even the banner character that you wanted. And now you just have to look at yourself in the mirror and you once you finish summoning and you look at your bank account and you think, Jesus, what have I done? But I'm not here to tell you what you can and can't do. I'm just letting you know from what I've seen and from me playing as well, that playing gacha games can make you financially unstable faster than you can imagine. And as well on a sadder note, that these games, from what I've seen, they won't last forever. They will shut down like Naruto Ninja Blazing at any time. And all that money you poured in, into the game, all those characters you got, will just be Thanos away in an instant. Alright guys, that's it for me in this video. I'm making this video, like I said, because more and more gacha games are being created, like with Genshin Impact and everything else. I know how easy it is to fall prey and go down this rabbit hole of just spending large amounts of money for a gacha game. And like I said, if you can do that and you want to do that and it makes you happy, I'm all for it. I just want to give you guys my opinion on it on the gacha games and how I feel about it. If you are in a financially good position to spend money on it, go ahead. But after a while, you don't want to fall down the rabbit hole of like one more, maybe one more step, maybe one more like uh, pull. Maybe I spend like maybe 10 more dollars and I can probably get it. Because once you get into that mindset, you very easily fall down the rabbit hole of just summoning more and more. Was the amount of money I really poured in this game really worth it? And ultimately, no, not really. But like I said, we aren't here for a long time. We're just here for a fun time. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Suck that like button. And I'll see you guys later.